solve the mystery of the Digmals, the Winx and Roxy travel back in time using the Stones of Memories. To their great surprise, Althea in the past is a place where fairies and animals live together, but not in harmony. During their mission, the Winx meet Farragonda and decide to help her find her Digmal. Butterflix. Come on, cheer up. It wasn't that bad. It was a disaster. But thank you anyway. I'm sorry I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Farragonda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we all know who you are, Headmit. <laughs> I was actually impressed by your skills. It's rare for a Digmol to bond with a fairy. But my Digmol ran away. Farragonda, huh? we'll help you find him. Wow. Really? <laughs> The metamorphosis symbiosis test is about to start. You better hurry. Oh, no. I need to brush up on this quick. Can you shut the door, please? Uh -huh. The examination is about to begin. <laughs> it's Whiskers. He looks exactly the same. Shh. <laughs> the key to metamorphosymbiosis is focus. Observe as I channel the majestic one horned eagle. Oh. <sighs> hmm. I'm as slow as a snail. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. Paragonda, I once heard you say you would like to become the Althea headmistress one day. If that is still what you want, you need to be quick. Zap! Like lightning. Quick to get to class. Quick to learn. Zap! I'm sorry. And where is your fairy animal? Her digmole escaped. And she made my scarret run away, too. <gasps> hmm. You have got to get your act together, young lady. Be more like Kalshara. <laughs> Show them, my dear. That bird <gasps> looks familiar. Now that is a first-rate example of metamorphosymbiosis. Zap! You score a perfect A plus on the exam, and you may be excused, Kalshara. Thank you so much, Professor. And you too, young lady. Huh? Leave my classroom and don't come back until you've recovered your dig ball. What? You heard me. <laughs> I let everybody down again. Headmistress Mavilla would know what to do because of her book. That is a brilliant idea. What is a brilliant idea? Why, borrowing Mavilla's book, of course. That book contains the secrets of every kind of fairy animal. Digmals, too. It could help you win back everybody's respect. Welcome, and please uh -huh. come in. I'm not in the office right now, but if you leave a message with my pellet fly, I'll get back to you. Wait for the beak. It's, uh, nothing important. I'll come back later. Animal 
doesn't chicken out, the ultimate power will soon be ours. Well done, Well, what can I say? I am the greatest. Kalshara? Kalshara! Farragunda, my dear friend. I actually got it. Now I can find out how to fix everything. I'm very impressed with you. It's called the Valley of Fruit. It looks like you'd be able to find more than one digmo there. Huh? Wait. I need to return the book to Mavilla's office. No, huh? you don't. Uh, but... <laughs> I just mean, I'll return it for you. You can trust me. Uh. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> the first step toward gaining the ultimate power is to find a natural source of wild magic. Huh? Guardians of nature, I entreat you all. Grant me entry to the Fairy Animals Hall. <gasps> we need to find Farragonda as soon as possible. We can't let Kalshara get her into trouble. There she is! Uh -huh. Huh? And Miss... Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Baragonda? What's up? Fantastic news, girls. I figured out how to find my oh. digmole. I just have to go to the Valley of Fruit. Great, but... How exactly did you figure it out? Uh... Wild magic, you belong to me now! that those dirty little vermin hold the key to the fairy animal's ultimate power. <laughs> I'm taking this. My Pellafly recorded your voice during your little visit to my office. Can you please tell me why it is that I just found the Tome of Nature on the desk in your room? 
I'm sorry, headmistress. I borrowed it from your office without asking. Uh -huh. But Kalshara uh -huh. promised she would put it back. So you're saying this is all Kalshara's fault? Huh? huh? Up there! That bird! Hmm? That's the same huh? bird Kalshara transformed into in Whiskiz's class. Headmistress, it can't be a coincidence that Kalshara is flying away after reading your book. And during all this... Faragunda, you'll come with me and help me restore order to the fairy animal world. We're her uh, friends. Mm -hmm. We want to come along and help. Very well. Where do you think we should go first? To the Valley of Fruit. We'll definitely <laughs> find Dingmoles there. Back off, monster! <laughs> Don't you recognize your own sister, Brophilius? Wait, but... Kalshara? It sounds like you, but what happened? I'm a master shapeshifter now, thanks to wild magic. <laughs> You're an animal! That's horrible! You finally have the chance to wield the ultimate power, and you back away! I don't want it anymore! No, thank you! Wrong answer, brother dear! Go and fetch me one of those digmoles, dog. Go get it, boy. Good doggy. Try actually using your new powers. <laughs> No! That voice! If it isn't Ferraganda and the gaggle of newbie losers. Kalshara, is that you? You're so changed. It's called Wild Magic. You should try it sometime. Huh? Let's teach those two what magic can do. But if we transform, Mavilla will know we're not real students. We don't have a choice. These digmoles are our mission. We have to protect them from Kalshara. Magic Winks, Blue Mix! Bloom, Fairy of the Dragon Flame! Flora, Fairy of Nature! with your animal magic! <laughs> Giants of the Valley, rise and gather the Dingmoles!
body to weaken it. underground with it. Mm. Raphelius, your monster is taking all the Digmos. I need at least mm. one. Right. Giant, come here to your master. Mm. Ow! You don't attack your master. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Kalshara, why are you doing this? You are my best student. And you were a competent headmistress. You taught me about the power of animal magic. In fact, why don't I show you just how much I've learned? I've learned a good bit myself. Now, little kitty, time for you to go to your cave. <laughs> I totally just saved you, sis! Aww, look how cute you are! <laughs> the giant seems to be protected huh? by nature. We can't stop it with our powers! <laughs> Digmos are fairy animals. If we free them, they'll know how to defend themselves. I think we can do it, if each one of us hits one of the giant's arms. But what if we hit one of the little furry guys? We just have to be better than usual. Winx, take aim! Nature has given you the Butterflex power because you have proven yourselves the true defenders of the fairy animals. 
That is why we came here. I guess we don't have anything to hide anymore. Uh, oh. Hi, sweetie. It's good to see you. You're a good pet. A good friend. But now it's time for you to go live your own life. Go. Run free. Are we just letting them go? We were supposed to find out their secrets. We'll do it when we get back. We'll find our answers somewhere at Althea. Well <gasps> done, Ferragonda. Today, you have acted not only with wisdom, but with insight and compassion as well. Huh? You have all shown me how wrong I've been. Fairy animals need to live free. I wanted the school to be their home. It has taken me too long to realize that it was only a big cage to them. So I'm going to use the magic left in the fairy animal hall to erase all our memories so that no one can remember these unfortunate events. So you won't remember anything? Nothing. That way no one will be able to misuse or abuse fairy animals again. <laughs> Goodbye, girls. Thank you for all your help. Farragonda, we will see you later. And I do believe I have found the perfect place for the park grand opening party. It's good to be the party queen. Ooh. I wonder what she meant by that. Roxy, the Winx, and the Specialists gather to celebrate the opening of the Althea Natural Park. Together, they begin searching for the animal with the first color of the universe. Using the fairy magic of a Digmal to enter the park, the wicked Brophilius hopes to hinder the Winx's search. <laughs>